back to the LNX files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a wellness check on Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kuni. This was a viewer requested video. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so last week when I did that video on Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher and why they didn't work, one of you suggested, hey, do one on Mila and, and Ashton. And I was like, what a great idea. And how dense of me to not come up with that on my own. So guys, whenever you have a video request, always put it in the comments so that I can read it and put it on the list. And then we'll do a video on what you want to see because that is the name of this channel after all. What y'all want to see, right? Another thing I want to say is that we have got to start doing lives, right? Lives. So I was thinking about doing a live like the last Friday of the month and like we'd all just get together, you know, on the YouTube and I was just going to pull cards for you guys in real time, maybe talk about some of the transits. If you guys have questions, you know, essentially it would just be, you know, pulling cards in real time. So <laughs> if you can follow the concept, if any of you guys have any specific questions, we can just do that. I don't know. I, I gotta start doing some lives and I need someone to nag me about them. So maybe you guys could do that. So anyway, Mila Kuni and Ashton Kutcher. So as we know, they were work buddies. They worked on that 70s show forever. Like she says something like he was her first kiss. Like she kissed him when she was like 15 and she was a minor and he was not a minor. So that was kind of scandalous, but they know each other really well. And I always thought, I always thought that like meeting someone at work, you know, with all the drama and problems that could, you know, be involved in that, that's how you really get a sense of how, who you're dealing with. When you see them nine to five and how they're behaving at work with problems and challenges and competition or what have you, just rolling with the punches of life, you really get a sense of who you're dealing with. So now, of course, what was scandalous about their marriage and, about, well, their marriage, them getting together the way that they did was just that like, Kutcher was fresh off of Demi Moore. Like he had been with Demi Moore for almost eight years, something like that. Like, and he had had a cheating scandal in his wake. And allegedly they were just, you know, getting together because it was gonna be a fling. And I believe she had just broken up with Macaulay Culkin. So they'd both gotten out of long ass relationships, you know? And so they know each other. They're like, you're a safe person to hook up with. I know you, and, and that's probably how this relation got started. They wanted someone they could hook up with, both being famous people that they liked, that they were attracted to, that they had some sort of friendship and camaraderie with, that, you know, a hookup person you can see on the regular that you could trust, that's worth its weight in gold, you know? So, as we know, when we did Demi and Ashton last week, I mean, their immediate charts were like oil and water. It was like, how did this even last as long as it did, oh my God. Mila and Ashton are the exact opposite. They're incredibly astrologically com compatible. Like this is like what you want when you're looking for someone. So he's got a Gemini rising with an Aquarius sun and Aquarius moon. He's all air in his immediate chart. So he's very analytical. He's very idea focused. All that Aquarius energy is like very innovative and like, let's get this done. Let's figure something out. What's good for the people, the society? You know, hence he was one of the early investors of Airbnb and God knows what else. So with Mila, she is a Leo, fire sign, Sag rising, fire sign, Scorpio moon. So he's got that dicey, sexy little Scorpio in the bedroom if he wants it. But like all her fire is like validating all of his air. Elementally, this is a very nice pairing. Her Sag rising with his Gemini rising, beautiful, great. Like they let each other do their own thing. They let each other just kind of like vibe and like uh, imagine and manifest like his Aquarius sun with her Leo sun, like very, very strong pairing. I've, I, know, I know roommates who've lived, to, who've lived together for years with, with this pairing Aquarius and Leo. So this I would almost dare say is a classic pairing. So it goes, goes a long way to say that they have a very strong friendship, which is the bedrock of their marriage, I would imagine. All right, so let's see how everything's going. You know, they have two kids. All right, so Mila, Ashton, Mila, Ashton, helping or hurting the situation, and where's the energy heading? Has he ever cheated on her? I'd like to, I'd like to know that, just because like, 
I've heard people talk in this town just like, I've heard people talk that Ashton cheats so much like he can't help but cheat. I've heard people to say like it's impossible for him to not cheat, which I mean that's a little rude. I mean, and I also don't believe in absolutes about people and I don't believe in limiting beliefs or that people can never change or that the, the you that you were 10 years ago is the you that you are today, of course not. So let, that's why we're playing a card on this. All right, so Mila's external vibe towards Ashton. Oh, okay, so interesting. So we got the Six of Swords upright, so safe harbor going from rocky waves to calmer waters. And so this is a card of like packing up your stuff and going to calmer waters. Hopefully they're going as a family. Hopefully there's no discord there. You know, with this card, the boatman is sometimes coming, is sometimes not coming. It depends on the unique situation. So hopefully this is a card which symbolizes them, you know, just going on vacation as a family or just seeking solace and greater peace and solitude as a family. That's what I'm hoping this means. Okay, cool. Ashton's external vibe towards Mila. Hmm. Okay, so interesting card to get for married people. So we got the four of cups in reverse. So that's good, we want this card in reverse. So this means like, you know, the doors of the heart opening up. If he was in a place where like, I need space or like I need time to focus on something or this or that, then this is a card which suggests that like, that period is over. He's coming back around is what this would suggest. Like he's in a place where he wants to reconnect or re-spend time or reinvest time in his marriage or in, in his connection is what this is signifying. So already off the cuff, I'm wondering if they're like coming off of a rocky period in their marriage or if something was going on. Okay. Mila's internal vibe towards Ashton. Oh, okay. So 10 of cups, like this is the happily ever after. She looks at him. She views him as like the king to her queen. Like we did it. We, we figured out this happily ever after and here we are. So it's a very powerful card in that respect. So this is very positive is what you want. All right. Ashton's internal vibe towards Mila. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So different. So standing his ground seven of wands upright. So he's standing his ground about something. There's some position within their marriage or about raising their kids that he has taken that he is absolutely firm on. So whatever that is or something he wants to do, he's not backing down from it. So maybe we'll pull another card about this because what is, what is that about? Okay. What is helping or hurting the situation? Oh, okay, the sun, so clarity, happiness, we did it, transparency. So this is a card of like, you know, everything is illuminated. So sometimes like, you know, dark stuff is coming out of the shadows. Sometimes we, with this card, we find out things about people that we don't really wanna know. But it's basically a card, of, it's basically a benefic card. It's a card of like, woo, yay, hooray, we did it. So thus far i'm seeing a good marriage i'm seeing a pretty solid marriage from what i'm seeing here there's something going on on his end we'll figure out what that is where is the energy heading hmm. okay so knight of pentacles in reverse so good this is the most passive knight the horse is not moving an iota so this is a card of you know people offering up empty gestures you know Sometimes it's someone losing the forest for the trees or just kind of like, please stop focusing on the details and please look at the bigger picture here, you know? Don't just be like, ooh, we need a new door knocker for the front door, this one's all like rusty. Yes, but first we need a new roof. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's usually really good because it's like, okay, we're shrugging off paralysis and we're gonna start moving. So cards, can you tell us what the heck has been going on with Ashton on his end? like? What is he standing his ground about? What has he not been focusing on? What's going on? Mm -mm. Okay, so look at the Knight of Wands in reverse. So something, I would imagine it was like work related. Like this man, like does he still act? The answer is kind of. He did that rom-com with Reese Witherspoon that was not a rom-com. If you laughed once during that film, put it in the comments below and explain to me what you laughed at and why it was funny because I could barely finish that film. The ending was cool, but you know, it was forced. So basically some sort of thing he's been working on, because upright this is young man with a plan. Something he's been working on has been destabilized. Like he's putting too much effort into it or he's not focused on the family, but there's something he's very passionate about, he's very excited about, and it's just causing some disharmony in his marriage is essentially what this is suggesting to me. 
So has he ever cheated on Mila? Let's find out. Hmm. That's a weird card to get. I don't know. I gotta say, folks, I don't know. You know, I don't know. We got the judgment card in reverse. So upright, this is a card of God has a plan. So in reverse, this is often a card where it comes up about like free will or like the correct order being subverted or sometimes it just means like things aren't what they seem. So it's not, a, it's a card that gives me a little bit of pause. In fact, so much pause that I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna comment on it. So that's a little weird. It's a little, it's a little weird. I, I'll just leave it at that. So that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below. What do you think of Ashton and Mila? What do you think about the concept of dating a coworker, period? Like and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. And as always, we'll do this again.